Yo, sup everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are going to react to the ZZZ live stream, bro. Unfortunately, Llama couldn't make it here, bro. Because he had some, you know, unfortunate circumstances happen. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say that he just cannot do the recording. You know what I mean? Let's just, pretty much, let's just put it at that. Let's just say this man. Anyways, we're going to do the Tour Diafano, the live stream for ZZZ. Let's get started on this shit. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna yacht for this long, bro. I didn't watch it live, so I'm gonna watch it now. We're gonna react to it now. So let's go. Uh, so, with with the ability to not to have missed it live, we have the ability to to skip through this whole intro. So let's see what they got cooking. How long is gonna take? Hi there, proxies. Welcome to the Zilla Zero oh. version 1.2 special program. So this is the way they're gonna do it. Last update featuring the demolition case that cost So this is how they're gonna do their the updates. Okay, okay. I thought they was gonna do the always RL shit. No, no. But they doing the animated shit. There Mr. Are Z. Rumors claiming that he's fled to the outer Our host is a bamboo. So of course. Is... Hey there. I'm Caesar. Happy to be on the show today. Hey, Praxis, I'm Bernice. Today, together with Mr. Z, we're gonna walk you through the new content in version 1.2. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for showing up on time, you two. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, I was about to skip this part. All right, let's go. All right, this place looks cool. Hey. Hey. Bernice. Hey. Hey, they got big. They go Bernice with the flamethrower, bro. She's a pyromaniac, bro. Hey. Hey, Billy and Bill. Formal introduction. Hell yeah. Season We're the time. Sons of Caledon. I'm the current boss. Caesar. There you go. I won't budge. Even okay, Caesar looks cool, bro. She's gonna be our first five star defense character. This is fire. And Bernice also looks cool too. I do like the whole flamethrower thing. Alright. Fire. Yeah. Burn a ass. Warning. A significant increase in a lighter. concentration near Cinder Glow Lake has been detected. <laughs> the weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of ether, I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control. Oh, we got a new biker enemy. Oh shit. I'm supposed to be here. Leave it to me. Caesar! Stop! Damn, what the fuck was that? Interesting. Tour D in front of Whoa, that looks incredible. It appears that the wide open wasteland awesome trailer, by the way. Great trailer. It has an underground side to it. Let's see and what they cook. When it comes to this place, I'm sure you two are the experts. Could you please give the proxies some insight here? Mm hmm. Leave it to me. The outer ring is what people call this underdeveloped zone outside the main urban area of New Eridu. It's farther out yeah. than Dermis and Fauna's quarters. And so we know about the outer ring with these guys. Which you don't get to see inside the city. And it looks, it it looks fire. I like the desert city. aesthetic to it's it. Blessed with a unique local asset. Oil. The outer yeah, ring is right. basically that. This was the fuel resource the out, the outskirts of New Eri, though. In the outer ring, people don't use etheric matter, but instead rely on oil to sustain themselves. We're mm. also selling some off to companies in New Eridu. After the old capital fell, folks came out here to start fresh. Damn, that NPC is fine as hell. Yeah, I saw that. Some just want to hide from PubSec. It's not Holy like shit. in the city. The vast outer ring has people peppered around and supplies scattered about. So it's up to the biker gangs to get supplies to the locals. Biker gangs are highly trusted in the outer ring. 
So, they've also got the best intel around. Oh, uh, yeah. If you want to survive out here, you'll need them. Damn, nice. she's safe. Sounds to me like they're the ultimate messengers in the Outer Ring. Of course. And among all the biker gangs, the sons of Caledon are the best around. <laughs> yeah! Wait, we are? Well, nevertheless, your logistics company, Lips and Bounce, has certainly made a name for itself in the Outer Ring. After all, not everyone can handle the job of transporting supplies through high-risk hollows. Yep. If you want a pro job done, then just leave it up to the pros. Whoa. Yep. As you might have guessed, we'll see what they showing the off. Gang for a reason. Hey, Lighter looks fucking cool. I'm, I'm, I'm actually excited to see him. Goddamn. Season. We riding bikes? GTA? Hey, we can race. Fuck yeah. Okay, that's fire. I like that shit. We can race on bikes. The young leader of the Sons of Caledon. Caesar. Yeah, hey, she's the leader. We're talking fame. You're clearly the real star here. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just your average. Oh, the animations are amazing as always, bro. The underground drinks operation. Has yeah. all kinds of drinks for Nisa. Well, we're not really at liberty to say right now. But it's safe to say that her drinks are famous throughout the outer ring. <laughs> Bruh, are they illegal drinks? You should, you should say. First, there's Piper and Lucy, who you've already met. They're yeah, yeah. The game too. That's right. Piper is the best truck driver around these parts, and Lucy. She's a truck driver. She's our top supervisor. They got her. Speaking of Lucy, she's Lucy's always so competitive with Caesar for some reason. If you come to the outer ring proxies, you'll probably catch those two squaring off. Well, here's a friendly <laughs> tip from so a Lucy, Lucy is that type of girl. Don't play referee. Okay. And try not to get caught in the crossfire. Oh, yeah, bro. Lighter seems yes, chill, bro. I fuck with lighter. Lighter's nonsense. Speaking Lucy's of lighter, a fucking truck driver. He'll be meeting him too. He'll be facing a pretty tough God opponent damn, this time around. Looks, now look that at you him. mention it, the Sons of Caladon must have some serious competition in the outer ring, right? The Sons of Caladon here, just majority of them is the really fucking league. great. We're not exactly all on the same team. Biker gangs uh -uh. tend to cooperate. What the hell is that? Each other at the same oh, time look at the here. girl. Take the is that... vanquishers, for example. They're our biggest is rivals. Is that the lying girl? We sons of Caledon have got a score to settle with them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time to settle the score. But for the sake of the current it's, overlord, Oh, is that Pompeii, shit? Now's not the time. Speaking uh, the, of Pompeii, I don't know what she is. She's a oh, wolf chick. She's, seen him for a while. she's like Lycan. And nobody knows but she's a, he's I, I think she's a tiger, actually. I don't know. Uh, a cat. One day, he's going to have to give up his position as Overlord. Overlord, huh? Sounds pretty badass. You know That is badass. And it's not the kind of title that just anyone in the Outer Ring can have. The oil wow. industry runs the old oil field out here. And the whole shebang relies on support from the Motor League. The Overlord's the strongest among the biker gangs. As the head of the Motor League, the Overlord wields their power to... Uh, wields their power to... What was it again? Hey, didn't Lucy tell you to memorize all those lines like a thousand times before coming here? <clears throat> Anyways, the Overlord wields the power to designate transport routes as the boss of the Motor League. Which is a huge boon. It's like super powerful. Like a mixologist with a whole barrel of pure undiluted nitro fuel. Yup. Since every biker wants to be the overlord, we had to find a way to see who's the winner. So we came up with the Cross Hollow Motor Race. The Tour d'Inferno. A race? Sounds like we can expect to see some real shit. cutthroat. I hope we be racing those action. niggas in a game too, mean, bro. I hope we do that shit in game. That would be fire as fuck. Fair and square. I heard there's a uh, famous legend about the Tort Inferno in the Outer Ring. God so, damn. I have a feeling Who's these two chicks? Simple as they sound. Caesar oh no, that's just a redrawing a of that's just a that's just the for the, the, the bike and since game I am in a different art broker, style. I've kept dossiers on you two for quite a while now. Because uh, I was yeah? looking at uh, the girl with See the blonde hair with the glasses and the I other girl on the right, singing. which is interesting. 
Caesar King, the most hey, she's a defense, the like we thought. Obviously, defense agent, adapt that using physical defense. Another physical character, by the way. When the enemy launches an attack, if Caesar successfully blocks it with her shield, it triggers a perfect block, allowing her to negate the damage. Wait, and wait, wait a minute, wait. The next move of a special attack. Wait a minute. So she basically just parries. Does she parry by using her, just by just attacking? Oh shit. It's not like a perfect assist parry or whatever the fuck it's called. I think it's called perfect assist in that game. Interesting. Attack or EX special attack. When she triggers a perfect block, defensive assist, or meets other certain requirements, she applies debuffs to surrounding enemies, allowing her squad members to deal more damage to them. Play it right, and it could be a slick way so to she's attack a debuff and debuff at the same time. That's correct. When Caesar is in combat. She can protect on-field squad members and boost their anti-interrupt level by providing a shield with her Yeah, EX but she's just attack, tanking it. No flinching. When launching her ult, Caesar swings her shield and charges into the battlefield in the Overlord's Grace Dance, dealing damage to enemies. Yep. I might be a defense agent, but that's because it's what I'm best at. I still know how to make the pain rain. Hell yeah. Caesar for you, she can take a hit and strike back twice as hard. That art is insane. I love you that art. Your team. Absolutely. Hey, now, Bernice, the Bernice's other bang files. girl. Miss Bernice is an S rank fire anomaly agent who fights nice. with dual flamethrowers. <laughs> dual flamethrowers, bro. Sir and Shaker are simply too hot to hit. Pyromaniac. In combat, Bernice alternates between her two flamethrowers, Mixer and Shaker, to fire continuously while using her nimble moves to dodge enemy attacks. If needed, Miss Bernice can also. Also concentrate her firepower to unleash blazing hot flames from both flamethrowers in a short burst, dealing massive damage and inflicting fire anomaly buildup. It's worth She's probably gonna be good on this order team. She enters the nitro fuel cocktail state. In this state, when a teammate I don't know who to go for, because I, I don't have an I don't have that type of money to go for both of them. In battle, Bernice can use her EX God damn. to quickly burn enemies while stacking up heat. Holy shit. I love Bernice too. Even oh my god. Agent, this is gonna be a Bernice difficult patch to, to know who to summon for. Accumulating fire anomaly build up on enemies. When the decibel rating is maxed out, she can unleash her ult, jumping into the air and raining down a storm of flames on her enemies. <laughs> Someone's here to challenge you. Nice. <laughs> But this is Bernice that's good, talking that's about. Good. She's still a force of nature on her own. She sure is. Before she joined the Sons of Caledon, there was a time when Miss Bernice worked alone. Now that I come to think of it, I've always felt like Bernice brings so much energy to everyone around. So her. is Bernice and Lucy They're like not sisters? Like am I tripping? Away all your troubles in one go with her flamethrowers. Yeah, she's the perfect friend. <laughs> as long as she never whips you up a meal with Mixer and Shaker. <laughs> If you're feeling down, just have a Bernie special. You will also go on an adventure Holy with shit. Bernice in the outer ring during which what is that Bernie's outfit? Oh my god! And deepen your friendship. Bernice has also prepared Holy. a surprise for you. We'll leave it to you to find out what it is. Y'all saw that? For Caesar, she's the kind of they went crazy on that one. That that one was crazy. Survives. That's right. Caesar's pretty reliable 95% of the time. Whenever there's an argument, she always knows how to get people to come around. Come around? You mean violently? And what about that last 5%? Yeah, if you got fragile stuff that you treasure, like expensive skincare products, you better keep it out of Caesar's reach. No wonder Lucy roasts you every chance she gets. You totally deserve it. And every good roast has to burn! <laughs> Looks like members of the Sons of Caledon get along pretty well. <laughs> of course. But while we're discussing a couple of Sons of Caledon members, let's not forget about our comrade in arms, Red Marcus. Ah, that's right. As a member of the Sons of Caledon, Red you Marcus. can find Red Marcus dressed in leather riding Oh, that's the bang boo. The battle. That's when the bang boo. Marcus launches his chain attack, it charges at the enemy on a spike, steamrolling them and triggering a powerful explosion. Well, we've covered a lot of content already, but now we're finally at my favorite part. In version 1.2, proxies will have a chance to recruit Caesar and Bernice as their agents from the exclusive channels and 
Super Crown Overlord and Born to Brand. Nice, nice. In the first half of this version signal search, proxies will be able to obtain the limited S rank agent Caesar and S rank W her engine. Tusks of Fury. Her engine looks good. Both will be available in their respective fire. channels. We look forward to working with you, Faithen. And in the second half, Miss Bernice will hey. be making her appearance her, her, her in her own signal good. search. Limited S rank wow. agent Bernice and S rank W engine Flame Maker Shaker await you. Yeah, yeah. Time to show off wow. your power move. This is gonna be a of difficult course, patch, man. This, mission earlier, this is gonna be a difficult one for me, man. In the new version. All right. I think it's about time for us to show the redemption code. Proxies, are you ready? Consider it a token of our appreciation. Hell yeah. To show that redemption code. Redeem that code, guys. Here's the code. Hey, they only give us one redemption code every month, but it give us like all. It gives us the amount of three redemption codes, so don't. Really fucking cool. Valid until the 14th, guys. All right. Okay, let's. There we go. Apart from the exciting main storyline, there will also be many Oops, fun my bad. that you won't want to miss in version 1.2. All right, the it events. all started in a diner in the outer ring. Oh, isn't oh, this so we cooking a uh, cooking That's event? Right. It was gonna eventually During happen, the guys. During feast event, proxies will gonna, take on a commission from it was the gonna mayor happen. of Blazewood and revamp an old diner. That's the mayor. Staff, you'll handle oh my god! From serving guests to cooking in the kitchen. While running Bro. the diner, proxies will learn a lot. Don't of tell me she's just an NPC. Ring, including I know these NPCs are insanely looking. Bro. That's the also, mayor. As a reward, proxies Bruh. will get to contract A rank. Oh agent my Lucy. god! <laughs> now it's your turn. Let proxy. me see some. Brace yourselves for some classic Lady Lucy sass. Next up, a new mini game called Bizarre wow. Brigade will be available Bizarre Brigade. at Ash's Arcade. Ooh. As far as I know, new, a new take arcade. On the role of a little traveler in the game and fight off enemies with the friends you meet along the way. That's right. Players can get a variety of random items during the that different shit reminds me of stages, Enter the Dungeon, which will have a huge impact on your fighting style and ability okay. to survive. Ooh, Pretty cool new arcade like game. I actually new. might play Every that shit. It's also worth mentioning that apart from earning polychromes by completing the event, proxies will also be able to unlock more new characters in the minigame. Additionally, in the event Roaming the Aether, proxies will receive a vintage computer terminal from the old civilization that the cunning hair salvaged from Hollow Zero. Nicole reckons there's some super important info stashed inside. Nicole's okay, another TV, another TV event. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder what that info could be. Yeah, who knows? It will be they don't. The they tend to not be the most exciting thing, now, but I switch things up and head back to New Eridu for some fun and casual activities. Psst. There will be hidden puzzles at the newsstand for you to discover. You heard her right, proxies. You'll be able to join the Redo Tours puzzle event at the newsstand and unlock different puzzles, which depict some interesting stories about New Eridu. Oh, and you'll also be able to earn polychromes and name cards as rewards right, for completing so the event. All right, so this makes it solve puzzles. Speaking of which, One for One Convenience Store is leading the way in setting up a neighborhood night market, right? Oh, yeah. Looks like I'm not the only one with an inside scoop. You know it. Anyway, Shaw will work with proxies to bring this market Jaw together. Is back. If you manage to complete the tasks, then there will be some. Oh yeah, this event is back. This is pretty much. Out. This is pretty much free money, free pulls, free money, event, and shit like that. From the, of combat commissions I don't know what the shit's called, but so I'm, I'm gonna just call them beta primo gems of this game. Additionally, there will be some new Yo, challenges the, winning the in enemy, hunt the and biker boss, for proxies to try out in the new version. And that's not all. That's cool. We also have new drive discs oh. coming in this update. Chaos Jazz and Protopunk. Proxies new drive discs set from new stages in routine cleanup. To provide proxies with a better experience, version 1.2 will have a limited time event where you can obtain double the drops. So you should be able oh, to get shit. your hands on double the drops. Okay, that's really good. That's no really time. fucking good. Don't forget, we've also got other events lined up waiting for you all to discover that are just as cool.
a new added, mode in Shu Yu Defense. They they added in a pawn Shu Yu Defense quite That's a bit. Right. I like a that shit. A brand new game mode, Investigator Training Course, will become available in version 1.2. This mode offers training four course. different courses where you can get a taste of what it's like to be a Hollow Investigator and learn some basic and practical knowledge about Hollow exploration. Okay. Each combat course will offer buffs tailored to different factions, and you will even get to use agents you don't own yet to take on formidable enemies. That's cool. And I personally small, prefer to use my characters, but that's pretty course, cool. You can assign your agents to undergo continuous tactical exercises in simulated hollow environments, earning experience along the way. Yep, sounds neato burrito. Now, even newly recruited agents can keep up with the team's progress. Meanwhile, there are also some new changes coming to Hollow Zero. We have already lowered the requirements for unlocking Withering Garden in version 1.1. Now, there are no more level requirements. Proxies can unlock it by completing the prerequisite stages. In version 1.2, we're That's introducing cool. a new Blitz mode. I wait for the part Garden. where they allow you to, where you can be allowed to walk around with your limited your characters. Weekly investigation points without having to explore the TV board. After each fight, Hell yeah. surprise box you don't have to Arizona of the same type. Go back, what he Rack said. Your weekly investigation points without having to explore the TV board. Nice. Fight, you'll earn a nice. Surprise we don't. So basically, we don't have to do the fucking TVs in order to go through Hollow fucking Zero. A oh, fucking amazing. I love Arizona that shit. Of the same type. For those who love a challenge, you can unless I'm misunderstanding it, unless I'm misunderstanding it, just to have that's that, what I got. Extra investigation points for doing so, and we have added this feature to exploration mode as well. Naturally, nice. the harder the challenge, the greater the rewards. We hope of you course. all find the experience you're looking for and have a blast. Nice. I love this update. Cool, cool update, changes to Hollow Zero. Cool to changes. Ten encrypted master tapes and ten boots. Ten free pulls. Awesome. Nice. Incredible. Ten free pulls for Bane Boot too. Got some cool. Cool. Intel up his sleeve about some game optimizations that you proxies have been discussing lately. Yeah. Let's see what they got cooking with the quality of life shit. First, let's take a look at the update. They already did that shit with HTV Hollow Zero. Commonly known as TV mode. Now, for proxies who have already completed and met certain criteria for commissions that include TV mode gameplay, Fairy yeah. will help you retrieve any unclaimed observation data and rewards from previous attempts if you're willing to give her some time. In other words, you only uh, need to explore the board once to collect all the rewards. Oh, uh, that's cool. TV mode to make that's fire. Feel smoother. Some event animations will play faster, and you will be able to skip certain parts. Finally, We've making the TV the interactions for some making the TV mode basically the have less TVs. Overall, there are many Hell yeah! Improvements to the TV board experience like, in the new version, the, and you'll the TV system. The, difference. the faster we could go Meanwhile, through that shit, the better the game. We're a backup battery charge function in the new update. A backup new battery new charge new function. Even if you can't log in. They added a backup resin system. One of the best live streams ever, bro. The thing that I've been advocating for for the longest. They added a backup resin system, bro. Good shit, ZZZ. Wuwa did it. Now ZZZ did it. Congratulations, bro. I'm telling you. A backup stamina system for any form of stamina that's in any gacha game should be the fucking norm. They did it. Amazing. Amazing ZZZ devs. Good shit. Good shit. Still keep building up battery charge. And when you finally have some free time, you can use all that stuff. Where does it go up to? That's the question. What does it is a feature? Oh they didn't make it into the main stamina. They basically made it like you're a, a consumable. Like your stamina is still consumable, but they made it like a consumable item, the backup stamina system. I don't give a fuck how they do. Either way, you get more st fucking stamina from, from like, if you don't have time to log on every day. That's cool. That means they... And the reason why this means so much more to me is because they, it allows you to have more time to do other shit, and they keep your time in mind. They like to salvage your time. At the you same know what time, I'm saying? We have also introduced a new feature to quickly switch squats in Shu defense. Nice, Ooh, nice. So the experience is getting smoother and smoother. Yeah, yeah. it's getting way smoother. No hundred percent. Squads every time. Mm-hmm. A hundred percent, bro. For a while. What they but said. I remember last 
time someone said something about playing as agents inside the city. Hey, and there it is! Is that all coming along? In version 1.2, proxies will get to explore new Eridu from the perspective of Caesar and Bernice. But that's not all. You'll also be able to switch freely between Wise and Bell. Choosings for chumps. You really can't Wait, have it's it just those two. And even though it won't be in the upcoming update, by version 1.4, proxies will be able to explore the city freely as any one of your agents. Also, oh, okay. So it's not in it's only, the only those two. Line, starting from version 1.2, you'll be able to advance the clock as you wish. No longer will Thank you have to worry about getting stuck. <laughs> Thank you. That time getting shit that made no sense. That Let's go, man. Good shit. Right. Good shit, like ZZZ Dev. Good shit. Is coming to a, close. a fucking what? amazing, bro. Next up we have... Wait, Wait, there's more? You bet you there's have more? Got a little That's what I'm saying. They, they, they basically yeah. did every fucking thing that, that was really good. Alright, so that was the live stream, guys, bro. I quite enjoyed that live stream a lot. That a live stream, it was an amazing live stream. They, they showed a lot of good shit in the game. They showed the shit that we all have been asking for for the game. Rather, it's like having a lot less of the TVs or making the TVs faster. Either way with that TV system, rather it's faster or they just like take away more of it. It's always a plus side for the game. Because the TV system is definitely ZZ's biggest problem right now. With that game. With the game. That's amazing the, what they did. With Hollow Zero. If Correct me if I'm wrong. They made it so that you could go through Hollow Zero. Without having to go through with the TVs whenever you do a run. Uh, I probably could be mis mishearing that. Or what they were saying. But if that's the case, that's the that's one of the best parts. That's a fucking amazing, bro. Shoot you defense. They did more things with it. They put in new modes and shoot you defense into the main end game mode. It seems like I think, at least from what I saw and what I, you know, listening to in the live stream, they probably adding upon shoot you defense. You know, adding more modes. You know, adding upon it, adding more modes to it. You know what I'm saying? I man, I'm just so excited, bro. Caesar and Bernice, they both look fucking good. Amazing, bro. You allowed to switch to Caesar and Bernice. You could play as them, you know what I'm saying? In this upcoming update. But in future updates, we're gonna be able to play as any of our character, walk around as any of the limited characters that we own, which is fucking amazing. I love that shit. That that's amazing, bro. And they added a backup stamina system. But the way ZZZ did it is quite different. I need to see how it is because it's nothing quite like it. Because usually it's typically a backup resin system that goes up to a higher cap than the OG, the usual resin. You know, I'm just calling it resin. It's still, it's called stamina. It's still stamina at the end of the day. I'm just calling it resin because, you know, I'm just used to calling it that from Genshin. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just call it resin. So that way... If we not don't have time to log on every day, or log on just at all, and then we need to come back after a while, there it is. We got some extra stamina in the background that we that we missed from just not logging on. I love that shit. I said this before. I I, I just cannot stress saying this shit again. Every gotcha game should do this shit. Every gotcha game should do this shit. Add a backup stamina system. Not do not force players to have to log on feel the need that they have to log on every day just to play the fucking game because not everybody has time to play the game like me i don't have time this benefit me tremendously because i don't always have time to play the fucking game not every time but i i but i do play it majority of the time if i want to try to get on i try to make some time but this this shows that they 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 care about your time quite a lot you know what i'm saying that they value your time in the game and that's what i like that is a big upside for a gotcha game to fucking do which is amazing bernice and caesar this fucking cool this my this is the last part that i'm gonna talk about bernice and caesar it's gonna be difficult to me on who am i might summon for i'ma be honest because I, I i like them both Holy shit. Those two characters. 
Because I don't have the monies for that shit. I really don't. But I just need to get lucky. Just pull better, you know. Just pull good, bro. They need to, that Jane Doe banner comedy session, bro. They need they need to keep that same energy they're keeping on the Bernice and Caesar banners, bro. Because I I just can't get the ball. I probably need towards more Bernice because I just kind of like I like her personality too. I like I like both their personality. I need more towards Bernice because I kind of want to make an anomaly thing with Jane Doe. That's the reason why. Because I already got a main DPSC set up with uh, Gu Wan, but I just kind of want to set up. I want to finish off, you know, you know, more Jane Doe's team with a disorder team. Let I wonder if she works well with Jane Doe. Hopefully she does. But anyways, yeah. <coughs> Gotta clear my throat, bro. <coughs> mm -mm. Oh my God, bro! I need some fucking water. Anyways, bro. I. This, this stream was amazing, bro. Yeah, but I'm gonna see y'all later, bro. Like the video if you like the video. You can dislike the video. I don't give a fuck if you didn't like what it, about the video, bro. I don't give a fuck, man. Let's go. And then links, show shoes are in the description, bro. All the links are down there, bro. Down below, bro. I already know, bro. Comment anything. Comment your thoughts, bro. I don't give a fuck what you say, bro. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching, bro. And see y'all later. Peace. Yeah.